I like to shake things up. I was excited to work with Sarah on the theme of today's service, decentering. Much of my literary inspiration for worship comes not from books, but from movies. I spent the first eight years of my professional life working in video stores. You may remember these. They are the now outdated analog version of Netflix. <laughs> so I have seen quite a few movies. When planning for worship as a worship associate, I most often think of one movie in particular. Now I bet there are a handful of you, more than a handful maybe, that think that I'm going to say Star Wars. No, that's another reflection. The movie I think of is called Keeping the Faith. It stars Ben Stiller, Edward Norton, and Jenna Elfman. It is a romantic comedy about a Jewish rabbi and a Catholic priest who are best friends and fall in love with the same person. Both the rabbi and the priest are famous for shaking up their services, getting people out of their normal routine. There is a scene where the rabbi, played by Ben Stiller, actually gets into trouble with the board of his synagogue for his unusual methods. Stand-up comedy style messages, guided meditations, and recently bringing in a gospel choir to sing, lead a song the congregation sings often, but he felt could use quite a bit of rejuvenation. While his ideas were bringing people in, some of the more traditionalist members of the congregation were upset. He replies by saying that he wants to push people to grow and expand. Otherwise, what are we doing? His mentor, played by Eli Wallach, has to remind him that while his ideas are great, many people come for the sense of continuity and tradition. People like to be led, not pushed. This has been my philosophy as a worship associate. While our traditions and rituals are wonderful, what can we do to experience a different perspective? Maybe we'll find a new ritual. What can we change or do differently to get us to grow and expand, but still keep to our continuity and tradition? For instance, I actually suggested that we take our silent meditation and have it at a dramatically different place in the service. Did this work? I don't know. Did it make you think about it? I hope so. Now, it has been my experience that Unitarian Universalism already does a pretty great job of taking not only Christians and Jews, but humanists, Buddhists, atheists, pagans, Muslims, and whomever, and pushing us to grow and expand showing us new faith traditions and helping to explore them. It certainly did for me by inspiring me to become a worship associate in the first place. In the same conversation with Sarah about decentering and shaking things up, I expressed my strong desire to have a script for anything I was going to say. When I don't have a script, I feel that I trip over my words and have a hard time making things come naturally. My brain gets way out ahead of my mouth and I lose track of where I should be. I suppose this is my high school drama background influencing me. I was always more into writing than improv. I realize that this is my own perception of how I am, and I hope that you may see me differently. But I need this planned out ritual of rehearsing so I don't feel uncomfortable. However, I have decided that I, that I am going to push myself to, in the future, try something less scripted. Maybe I'll start at our new midweek services, which are currently Wednesday at 7 o'clock. And I invite you all to come and grow and explore with me. My wife suggested that I keep with tradition and include a joke or two. So a priest, a rabbi, and a UU minister walk into a bar. The bartender looks up and says, what is this, some kind of joke? <laughs> A UU minister, a rabbi, and a priest are walking down the street. They discuss together the various themes and traditions and beliefs of their different religions, and each leaves with a greater respect for each other and a deeper understanding of the world. Is that a joke? Is it? <laughs>